We are going to create a chat screen UI in Flutter similar to this with dynamic updating UI on new messages. For any complex UI building, I would suggest you to dissect the UI roughly and think about how you are going to build it even before writing the code for it. For this UI, I need to have an app bar at the top and a column widget below the app bar which is divided into two sections for messages and input. Dividing the app bar further using row to add an icon and a column. Under column, I am going to add two text fields. Similarly in the bottom, I am going to add a text field and a floating action button. In the middle section, I am going to add a scrollable list view with messages in differentiated UI based on message type. I have created a fresh Flutter project. Here I have the main.dart file pointing to the chat screen, a stateful widget which is going to be our first screen. The UI has a empty container wrapped inside a scaffold widget. To begin with, I am going to add three functions which will return us three different widgets, which sums up our whole screen. As discussed earlier, the app bar widget is the top part which has username and status. Message widget covers the messages from the sender and the receiver and input space comprises the widget to get input from the user. Now we are going to add app bar inside scaffold with elevation set to 0. Adding a white background color and passing safe area widget as a flexible space parameter. Inside safe area widget, I am calling app bar widget as a child. Now whatever change we make in app bar widget will be returned as widget to app bar. Inside app bar widget, I am adding a child pointing to row. The first child inside row widget is item button with empty code inside on pressed callback. I am also adding an arrow back icon in black color. You can see the icon here in the UI. Now I am adding a column with cross axis alignment set to start inside which I am adding two text field which is the username and status. Adding main axis alignment to center the text fields in the app bar and also wrapping the column with expanded widget so that it takes the full remaining width. Adding different text styles for the text widgets to increase its visual appeal and adding a sized box widget to add space between the text fields. With that, the app bar part is completed. For other part of the UI, I am adding column widget inside the container. Adding main axis alignment to end so that the UI arranges itself from the bottom. Adding message space and input space as the two children of the column. To test whether this works, I am adding height and color to the input space widget. Similarly, I have added another color to the message space widget to differentiate. Also along with width set to infinity and the container is wrapped with flexible to take the whole space. Having the container wrapped with flexible helps us with the height being dynamic. Now let's build the bottom UI. Reverting the height and changing to 60 and adding row as a child to the container. Inside row, adding expanded widget with text field as the child. Now adding floating action button with send icon as a child. Adding a little bit of padding inside the container. Now adding on submitted callback inside text field and also adding input decoration with no border to make the UI look clean. This is how the UI looks now. Now let's build a chat space UI. Before working on the UI, we need to understand three rules for chat space. The chat space should be scrollable. The chat messages should be arranged from bottom to top. Whenever a new message arrives, we have to update the UI to scroll to the bottom. With that being said, the first step is removing the container widget and replacing it with single child scroll view. Add list view builder as a child to the scroll view. Now we need messages list to be added to the list view builder. Create a new class file named chat model and creating a class named chat message with message and message type as parameters. Now in chat screen widget, I am initiating a mock messages variable which is a list of chat message object with dummy messages. After that in the list view builder which we created earlier, add item count set to length of the mock messages, set shrink wrap to true, add a bit of padding and physics and return container widget. 
inside container adding text as a child set mock messages dot message as the value for the text and adding a little bit of text style you can see the list of messages getting displayed in the ui and arranged at the bottom of the screen now we have to add ui enhancement to this first add decoration to the container with rounded corners and colors add a bit of padding around the text and also between each individual messages now the ui looks a bit cleaner after this we have to differentiate the ui and alignment based on whether the message is from the sender or the receiver to do that wrap the container and align widget with alignment value dynamic based on whether the message type is sender or the receiver align left if it is the receiver align right if it is the sender similarly we can apply the same logic to make the color of the container dynamic based on message type now the ui looks like this as a second part of this video we need to update the ui when user inputs some text to do this i'm creating one function named send message which accept a string as a parameter add the past string to the mock messages list as a chat message object call this method whenever you need to update the ui with a new message now initiate a text editing controller as a global variable and add this controller to the text field inside input space function call the newly created method from on submitted callback by passing the text from the text field as the parameter do the same in the on pressed callback of floating action button now in the add message function we have to clear the text field once the user clicks on submit let's check whether this works clearing the text field works now but it is not updating the ui to do that we have to add set state when new message comes in now the ui is getting updated when user submits an input but it is not scrolling automatically to the bottom when new message comes in to resolve this i'm creating a scroll controller as a global variable and assigning this controller to the single child scroll view now i'm adding a new function to scroll the scroll view to the bottom we are calling the jump to bottom function only after the ui is rendered and only if the message list is not empty calling this function on build method so that every time set state is called the scroll controller will scroll to the bottom Let's check whether this works. If you notice, the UI scrolls to the bottom whenever we send a new message. This is how we build a chat UI in Flutter. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you like this video, click on the like button and if you have any doubts or if you have any other suggestions, please do drop them in the comment section. Thank you for watching.